Well, let's start off by taking a look at Hillsdale for our neighborhood planner as we go throughout our Wednesday. Now, Hillsdale, this will be a quiet day. For everyone, it'll be a quiet day. So even though temperatures look a lot cooler, which they will be, it's still a good day to head to the store, make any preparations, start considering on having a plan B for your Christmas plans, because while well, it's definitely gonna be downright dangerous once we get toward the weekend, Hillsdale, you have the possibility to be the coldest city in our viewing area in terms of temperature and wind chill going into the weekend. And that's because of cold air wrapping around the bottom of Lake Michigan, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But what we are tracking is what could be a potential blizzard for Friday into Saturday. We will start feeling the impacts on Thursday and some of those impacts will last into Sunday. However, the biggest days will easily be Friday and into the day Saturday. Cold, wind, snow, poor visibility, and yes, even power outages will be possible because of the high winds. This system just wreaks havoc as it makes its way through the Great Lakes. It really gets a lot of strength, a lot of wind, and even some lake effect as possible as far down the line as Christmas Day itself. So there's a lot to watch here, and things can definitely change still, but we have a pretty good idea of what's about to happen. So taking a look at Friday, as we have heavy snow coming down, winds will be gusting between 40 and maybe up to toward 55 miles per hour. That is going to create greatly reduced visibility, blizzard conditions, if not an all out blizzard across our area. So it is going to be treacherous travel and you will not want to be stranded out in it because that's when the bitter cold could have some serious and dire consequences. So definitely be safe and let's be smart going through this. The European model putting a very heavy swath of snow on through. Now, I will tell you right now, Wednesday, we will be issuing our official snowfall forecast. It is just a little too far out right now, so definitely check back just a little bit later on for that. Overall, looking at the snowfall potential from the other model, almost the same exact thing. We like that consistency, but we like to see it for a prolonged period of time and after the system has come on shore on the west coast, which it's doing right now, so that is a good thing. Overall, maybe even a little bit of sunshine to kick off the day, but a lot of cloud cover makes a comeback for us. And then take a look what happens overnight into Thursday. Really not a whole lot of anything. So Thursday morning, we're still very quiet. We're going to be just fine in that regard. If you want to still make it to the store, you can, but notice later in the day, snow will be ongoing and it's really going to pick up at about 5 p.m. So by dinner time Thursday, please be where you're going to be because you will not want to be out in these conditions. Even though there won't be much wind until early Friday morning, the snow is going to pile up very, very quickly. This is a very strong storm system and it's just gonna be very difficult. So we are gonna have cold temperatures, which means that fluffier snow. And so not only does it accumulate faster when that happens, but it whips around in the wind a lot better as well. That's why Friday and Saturday are going to be the potential blizzard days here going forward. Notice Santa will still be showing up. Rudolph's nose can power through anything, including a blizzard. They get them all the time at the North Pole. So don't worry there, but for us at home, we have to be safe, maybe reconsider some family gatherings because even though some of the snow starts to taper off into Christmas, remember, we'll still have some lake effect coming down. It'll add up quick with temperatures like that and winds will still be about 30 to 35 miles per hour as we go into Christmas day itself. So we could have ground blizzards and you know, if a snow plow goes by, it could get covered right back up. So I don't think we'll see a lot of improvement until we get into the day Monday, but we'll definitely be providing you updates. I myself will be working pretty much around the clock all the way into Christmas morning. So expect numerous updates. Check our Facebook for Facebook Lives. And don't forget to look for my Facebook, Meteorologist Brad Sugden. I will be posting a bunch of updates there as well.